so I've done my small sketch here and so now I'm going to try and make it into a, a larger picture so basically I'm going to follow the same plan but I'm going to look at uh, what's going on over here uh, with the mosque in the background so I'm going to start off by laying it out the two major shapes and positioning in what I want as the major drawing The key thing is to get the thin shapes down first, so I'm focusing on getting the sky colour and the ground colour down in very thin paint. two shapes here. And the most important thing is to get the temperature correct. two basic shapes. Now we get a bit of a um, bit of the subtlety in the colour changes. So colour change in the sky changes a bit as we get down to the nose. Almost a um, watercolor technique at this point. However, using a little bit of a quick drying medium. medium so we've got a transition here from more of an ultramarine to a cerulean a little bit of uh, yellow oak as we get further to the further down the sky and then touch of red when we get to the horizon Thank you. 
this is the uh, place of transition. So I've got the rough idea now, so now what I need to do is to uh, get a little bit more opaque paint and get the colour relationship a little more accurate. So I'm mixing with uh, white now. <laughs> I'm using fairly opaque paint this time. And I'll do the same transition. Transition a little bit more to cerulean lower down in the sky. to uh, green and then ultimately to maybe the yellow ochre and then near the horizon it goes a bit muddy so it's more like a more orange in it. So that's my basic transition going from ultra cerulean brooding green, yellow ochre and a little bit of red as you get close to the horizon. So now I'm going for the ground colour. But it's really interesting because the light here is very intense and if I just paint it one colour it's not going to have the feeling of the light and intensity so I think I'm going to have to mix multiple colours together. It's a bit of an experiment, just trying, mixing different colours, trying to get a little bit of um, atmospheric perspective because obviously it's going to get cooler from here to here, it's going to get warmer down here. This part of the painting, just these two patches of colour. Because unless this has the feeling of light, then the whole painting works.
you here, you can see the intensity of light that's falling on the ground. But the paint just can't capture it, so somehow you've got to find a, a way to trick the eye into believing that it's this intense. medium is, is drying a little bit too quickly in this heat. It's about midday now and the Moroccan heat is quite intense at midday. If I drag a bit of the sky colour down here that will cool off the distance a bit. You can see the colour of the sky and the ground that I'm painting here. Judge the greys well, it's a good idea to get in some of the darks. It's <laughs> not cool off to the right because that's going to be more in the distance. Close to where I am. This helps you judge the colours a little bit better here. But at this point I don't want them to be thick, so let's see if I can straighten them a bit without losing them. Also put in the, the light of the buildings. 
when you've got more colours down it gives you more to judge by. cooling off as I go further away. Colour in now I can judge this colour here of the, the ground a little bit more accurately. As I said, this, these two colour ranges are probably the most important ones in the whole of the painting. trying to finish this before I start getting a bit of heat stroke. I'm not really under an umbrella here properly. will give me a bit of thin thick contrast when I come to add the detail on which I'm going to be using faster. Now I'm looking at the sky, I'm not sure I've, I've lost um, some of the initial transition. to work on the sky a bit more. So I'm making very slight adjustments to the sky now. Um, mostly trying to get the right transition colour. And also grey it down a little bit. To give me a contrast when I start putting the saturated colours on.
background you can hear the street vendors saying hello and trying to figure out what language people talk. That's how they attract people's attention. They're really pretty good at languages. I've heard some speak about six or seven different languages according to who's walking by us. I listen to hear what people are saying and then they say hello or some comments or what is your name in their own language. So you can see now it's getting slightly greyer. flat as I can. So when we start shifting the values it loses the loses the Motown structure. It's not easy because there's lots of different variations of colour. So it's so difficult to try to make sure you're keeping the value the same. Probably the hardest thing in painting is doing this. I'm getting a bit blinded by the sunlight as well. is getting really ready for some shade here. This is getting hot. Marrakech. Marrakech. Oui. Ça va bien. 
Jadi, taksi. So I'm flattening out this again. I thinned it off again to get a bit of um, <clears throat> sensei contrast. Good opportunity to work on a few edges. Right, I think I've got the um, <clears throat> basic background set up now. So now for the now for the detail. So now I've got to suggest all these people. Oh, yeah. 